Hey everybody, we are back at Universal Studios Florida for day four of the Mardi Gras celebration, but it's day two for me. We are back for more food, more fun. I plan to catch the parade this time, which starts at 5.15 as a matter of fact. So let's get into it. And today, Universal Studios closes at 6 p.m. We've got folks already scoping out their spots for the parade, which starts a little earlier than usual this evening because the park closes at six o'clock but we only have a little less than two hours before the park closes. So I wanna get in about three more food booths tonight before we call it a night and head over to Islands. First stop of the night is Trinidad and Tobago and there's absolutely no one in line. Let's order. The Shandy Sorrel is actually a bottle drink. I thought it was a fountain drink, but that's okay. There you go. Thank you. I am a huge fan of Caribbean food. So when I found out that two Caribbean islands would be represented this year, I was super excited to see what dishes Universal would bring to the menu. We're gonna try the chickpea doubles first. Not bad Universal, not bad. Again, it's not authentic Trinidadian restaurant quality, but for a theme park, they did a good job. Not bad at all. Let's get into this soft shell crab. This is actually my first time having soft shell crab. So let's dig in. Right at the end, I got a hint of that crabby flavor and it's good, not too strong, it's pretty subtle. The shell is like completely soft. Both dishes are heavy in curry, so if you like curry, you're gonna love both of these. I am very satisfied with the Trinidad and Tobago food menu. Now we're gonna head over to Old New York and see what's on the menu at the Japan booth. Trinidad. I swear I think I bit off more than I can chew because I'm really full right now and I got this bun sampler from the Japan booth. I'm struggling to try to eat this. I can't even start it. So let's see if I can let my food digest a little bit and get into this bun sampler. So this white one is kind of sweet. I'm gonna have to look at the menu again to see what the um, filling consists of but it has a slightly sweet flavor and it's soft it's actually like a paste and I think I taste a hint of coconut the red one is just savory I think it's filled with pork and it's pretty tasty but it's a little bit dry I mean other than that it's okay but it is dry Let's see what the last one tastes like. <laughs> this was my least favorite one. I did not like the sweet and savory combination. Plus it was beef. I don't really do beef, so. It's carnival time, guys. The parade has begun. Let's get this party started.
original plan was to try three to five countries. That didn't happen. We started off at Trinidad and Tobago. Little did I realize how large the portions were and how filling they were. And I got two different dishes. So that was basically like an entire meal. So by the time I was finished with that, I barely had room for anything else. The bun trio was okay. Not what I expected, but it was okay and I didn't finish it. And I think I probably wouldn't have finished it anyway if I hadn't had that large portion from Trinidad and Tobago before. So let's go ahead and make our way out of Universal Studios and head over to Islands of Adventure. over to Islands of Adventure. Most of the crowds from Universal Studios poured over here to Islands. I'd say half and half. Half left the park. The other half came over here to Islands. So I think it's going to be pretty crowded here for the rest of the evening. Islands closes at 8 tonight. So let's see what we can get into here. The first order of business when you enter the port of entry is of course to take in this gorgeous view. to try to walk around the park burn some calories to try to work up an appetite to have a few more things here at city walk as well as islands of adventure but i just couldn't do it so the food is done for me for tonight we'll come back another day maybe this week maybe the weekend to try some more things but until then we're just going to kind of walk around for this last half hour see if we can get on a couple more rides and call it a night let's keep walking Time flies when you're having fun because I spent the whole 20 minutes without realizing it capturing video footage and pictures in Toon Lagoon. That left me with only 10 minutes before park closes, so we might as well jump on Spider-Man and call it a night.
We'll pick up the vlog tomorrow because I got a lot of things to do. Fun things too.